So in this video, we're going to go through three more examples of dividing by a decimal. So first example, 2,961 divided by 0 0.3. So we take a look at what we're dividing by first. And in order to remove the decimal, I'm going to have to multiply through by 10. So that means I need to multiply that through by 10 as well. So this will become 29610, so 29,610 divided by 3. So 29610 divided by 3. 3's into 2 goes 0 with 2 left over. 3's into 29 go 9. 3 9's to 27 with 2 left over. 3's into 26 go 8. 3 8's to 24 with 2 left over. 3's into 21 go 7 with 0 left over. 3's into 0 go 0. With zero left over. So the answer to the first question is 9,870. Okay. Right, number two 545 divided by 0 0.08. So, first of all, look at what you're dividing by. And in order to get rid of the decimal, I can multiply that by 100, which means I need to multiply 545 by 100 as well. So we're going to have 54500 zero, zero, divided by 8. So 54,500 divided by 8. So 54,500 divided by 8. Well, 8's um, into 5 goes 0, with 5 left over. 8's into 54 goes 6. 6 eighths of 48 with 6 left over. 8's into 65 go 8. 8 eighths of 64 with 1 left over. 8's into 10 go 1 with 2 left over. 8's into 20 go 2 with 4 left over. So I need to bring in a 0 and a decimal point. 8's into 40 go 5. So 545 divided by 0 0.08 is 6,812. Point five. Okay. And the last one, we've got 0 0.4048 divided by 0 0.11. So look at what we're dividing by. And to get rid of the decimal, I'm going to need to multiply through by 100. So I'm going to multiply both by 100. And we'll have 40.48 divided by... 11. So 40.48 divided by 11. 11's into 4 go 0 with 4 left over. 11's into 40 go 3. 3 11's are 33 with 7 left over. Bring in the decimal point. 11's into 74 go 6. 6 11's are 66 with 8 left over. 11's into 88 go 8. With zero remainder. So uh, 0 0.4048 divided by 0 0.11 is 3.68.